Okay, we are um, going to try and modify my Flask project so that rather than every time I click edit, it deletes a movie. Let's delete, uh, well, let's add a movie just to show you. So if I make a new movie, um, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, let's, oh God, I can't think of any movies now. I'm gonna put Top Gun again, because I was gonna say Top Gun 2 and the movie description is XXX and the year released is that. And if I submit it, we've got in our list movies, we've got that being added, but at the moment, when I click edit, it just deletes that number eight. And if I go back to my list movies, we can see that file has been, that record has been deleted. What I want to do is rather than have that happen, I actually want to basically open up, say this film here, Inception, in a page that looks a bit like that. So it then is pre-filled with Inception and the other details. And when I click submit, it's picked up any of the changes. So there's a couple of things I need to do. I haven't quite thought about how I'm going to do this yet, but we'll, um, I'm sure we can uh, get it to work. Uh, right. So a couple of things I want to do. I want to make sure I'm not using this SQL delete. I'm just going to comment that out for now. OK, uh, but I still want to use the same idea of uh, this edit movie. OK, so I'm going to leave that there. It's getting the ID from the uh, URL of the link and it's going to connect to the database. What I also want to do is rather than doing this delete from movies, I want to get the I want an SQL statement that gets all of the record information. So select star from movies where ID equals and then I can just stick that ID on the end. OK, so that's gone and done a select statement and it should go and get me my information for my movie so I can edit it. We want to use um, something very similar to this movie lists thing. Uh, it will execute, um, it will commit it, but we actually want to extract the data that we've collected. So we're going to use the same thing we used up here, which was the fetch all. Okay. And then what we're going to do, oh, has it got an angry line under it? Probably sort itself out in a minute. Oh, it's just going to say that we haven't used rows yet. What we're going to do is use a similar line rather than this ID has been deleted. Let's just comment that out. We're going to use something like that. And we're going to take that rows and pass it in like we do with the movie list, except rather than going and showing the movie list one, which was the table that showed all my movies, I'm going to use the add movie template, which we've already created and it works just fine. Um, you'll probably go, but miss, why are you showing, why are you passing in rows? Because that's not going to make any difference. If I just save this, I've done a little thing which may or may not work. Let's try that again. And first of all, let's just check if I list movies and I click that. Right, it has gone to the add movie thing, but at the moment nothing happens. OK, uh, so I'm not worried. I'm not going to worry too much about that, but we've got somewhere. But why is this rows not being used for anything? Well, if we go to the add movie HTML, I started <clears throat> dividing um, this up. I think I might have to do it in a slightly different way. Um, anyway, what we can also add to an input is a, another attribute. So name is an attribute. We can have type as an attribute, but a value attribute is what actually appears in the field. If I just get rid of that for now and I change that to, I don't know, uh, think of a film, think of a film, let's call it Dune. OK, so if I hard code that with Dune in there and let's just see what that does. So every time, so this is in my add movies, every time I click on add movie, it's always got June in it. I can delete it and do something else in there, but that value there will always pre-fill it with June. And equally, if I go to inception here, it still says June in it because I've hard coded it. 
What I was planning on doing was rather than doing that, was putting our curly bracket syntax in there and having a variable called name and then doing the same thing with my description and my year. But these this time, rather than just being the name of the field, it's actually the name of a variable. So I'm going to call that one disc and I'm going to call this one year. They don't have to be the same as these, but they might be. Now, this isn't going to break what we had already with our add movie, um, but hopefully if we can pass those variables in, so name, discrete and year, from my main.py. So rather than using rows, rows, we're going to have something that says name equals. And I think this might work. It might not, but let's try it anyway. Rows name. Uh, what was the next one? Desk equals rows square brackets desk. Spell it right. Desk and year equals rows square brackets desk no not years now it's making an angry line about oh it's because i've got too many square brackets have i missed something yes i have i need to put that square bracket there okay that looks better so hopefully when I've gone and got my rows, even though it says rows, it should just be one row um, because hopefully there's only one ID and there should be because it's a primary key. Uh, then it should get the individual item out of it. I'm not sure. Let's try. So if I stop and start it, I can probably get a big fat error. Let's try it. So if I go to list movies and edit movie. Oh, here we go. All right. Internal server error. And I think it needs to be okay my bad i think i need to loop around so rose is getting me fetch all let's try this for row in rose it's a bit fudgy then i will <laughs> It's just going to return the first row and then I get rid of that and that. I think it might be because uh, rows is a multiple. And if I just get the first one, that should work. I don't know. Let's try this. All right. List movies, edit movie. Ooh, what is it saying? No item with that key. Shush now. No item with that key. That's an interesting one. I've not seen that. No item with that key. Okay, let's do a bit of debugging then. Um, so rather than do that, let's print print row. And then just to make it even, uh, let's print rows up here. When in doubt, print it out. Okay, run again list movies edit that one right it has got a row object uh, it's got so that's a list showing one row object okay or well, tell you what because i thought that turning this on will mean that i can use I can use this uh, what's called an associative array and use the names in there. Let me just try and get the first item, the second item, and the third. Oh, I know what it is. I think it's description. Is it description? Is the name of my movie in my table? It's called description. Oh, that might be what it is. Let's go back. It's not desk. It's description. Come on. This movies, edit, damn, no item with that key. Oh, I've spelt it years, haven't I? See, this is why you need to be accurate. Okay, let's try again. 
That's why you need to be accurate and you need to have a lot of patience. Come on. Yes. Yes, look at that. So now you can see how, what I was intending to do. So if I go back to list movies, whatever I put in here, it's filling it in. OK, we haven't got the saving bit yet, but you can see that I'm getting this filled in. And the idea is that I could edit it and then potentially click submit. Now, this submit won't work because the URL that it's um, uh, attached to is this edit movie and I haven't said a um, you know methods are allowed to be get and post I haven't done anything about if request is post or any of that but we can do that it's not a problem so if I copy these bad boys from here and put them into my uh, edit movie thing there so that should pick up the fact I can post to it so that'll stop that error then I want to do something very similar from that. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, do you know, I'm just going to copy the whole darn thing. OK, and uh, I'm going to put it up here. So the first thing it's going to do is check if the method is post grab the name so this is exactly the same from the add one grab the names from the fields connect to the movies database and this time instead of doing an insert we're doing a update movies uh, and then this is where we do name value pair so do you know what i might just not do parameters here because I'm not sure it's going to work. Let's do it without parameters. So update movies. And so then we say name equals. And then I am putting. So you have to be a bit fiddly with quotes. And double quotes. I've just done this many for many years. So that's why I know how to do it. Comma. And then do the description. Spelt right. Equals. Single quotes. Double quotes. Pluses. Uh, and that's desk, desk, and then same thing again, and then years equals single quotes, double quotes, pluses, and then do it's year, uh, year there. Okay, so that should be the name value pairs, and then I do where ID equals, and then we've got the ID right. So that was a slight problem because we haven't got the ID yet. I'm kind of going to cheat and get it from there. So I'm going to do that first. It's not ideal, but it'll do for now where ID equals and then plus ID. And just to double check that I haven't made a stupid mistake, I'm going to print that SQL out to the console just so I can read it. Then I'm going to just execute it without any of that and then it commits it so these are the same things I haven't got a message at the moment but we'll, yeah I haven't got a message at the minute maybe I'll just print out add it to the movies table I'm just going to print it print name added to table Okay. All right. So let's just double check what we've done. We've uh, still grabbed the idea, check if it's a post, grab these three fields from the form, connect to the database, build up a massive string to update the movies, print the SQL out. Uh, then we do the get the cursor, execute it and commit to the change. And then I'm printing it to the table. This isn't going to do anything, but I'm just going to leave it here. So stop, start. I have no idea if this is going to work, but let's try it. So I go to list movies. I go to Leo goes mad. That bit's working. I decide to change it to Leonardo. And we'll change the year to 2002. I don't actually know what the year is. And I click submit. Big fat error. Excellent. 
what is it? So update movies, let's check this, update movies, inception, Leonardo goes mad, quotes, year equals that, where I do, what's wrong with that? Error in app. Optional, near name syntax error. Ooh, update movies, it's set. I missed a keyword out from my I think is it update movies set that's what it is as a keyword set <sighs> all right let's try again and that's why it's good to print out your sql right list movies it still says inception leo goes mad edit it let's say leonardo and change that to two and then click submit <gasps> oh no errors that's what we like and then if i do list movies now there you go, it says Leonardo goes mad, woohoo! So if I <clears throat> edit this and I say, who you're gonna call Ray Parker Jr. And then click submit. You can now see if I go to list movies, it's updated it. And if I check it works for a new one. So let's have the Terminator and we'll say Arnie is a cyborg from the future I could spell that would help and the year that was released I think that was 1984 as well classic year and I can't spell cyborg it looks like a cyborg for the future click submit it says it's added to the movies table if I list movies there it is and if I edit that and go oh actually it's 1985 and I will make sure it's terminated with an exclamation mark and I click submit and now I've got my list movies going on there. Okay, enjoy!